Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install and set up clear lag for Spigot 1.9.4. First, we're going to go over to the plugins tab. We're going to search for clear lag. And it should be the first one. Just install the latest version. Click install. And as soon as that's been installed, let's go up and restart the server. As soon as the server's been restarted, let's go to the file manager. Go to plugins, and we're going to look for clear lag. Click on the config YML and we're going to go over some of the things in here. First off with the settings, you can leave these as default. Auto update automatically updates the plugin. You can keep spawn in memory so that it doesn't take a while to load every time somebody goes to the spawn area. And here's an awesome one. Uh, this will meter your RAM usage, uh, so let's set this up real quick. I want to make sure that my server doesn't go over 2 gigs of RAM, and if it does, it'll check every, I believe, 20 seconds. Uh, if it does go over 2 gigs, it'll run these three commands. You can also add others or uh, take some of these commands off if you want. Also make sure to enable it. Okay, down here is a player speed limiter, uh, making it so that people, if they are too quick, they can't overload your server by running along each chunk, so it'll stop them from running from chunk to chunk too quickly. This we're going to leave as false, just because we don't have players that are too quick, so it's fine. Usually don't have to worry about this, but if mods are overbreeding or people are spawning a bunch of mobs, you might want to set a max mob limit. You can also have clear lag purge the logs under slash logs every time the server starts. So for this, I'm going to have it purge all, set this to true first, purge all logs that are over three days old. Also going to keep these set as how they are so that when you use the slash lag area commands, it will not get rid of these items. You can add others as well if you'd like. This I'm also going to change to true just in case. This right here will limit um, the amount of mobs that players can spawn so that they can't overload your server with that. Most of the other settings uh, you can leave as default. However, you can go through all of them and change them to how you like. Uh, whenever you're done with that, go down and click save and go up and restart your server. As soon as your server has been restarted, let's go to Minecraft, go to multiplayer, and log into your server. Okay, so as we saw here, there is an animal. We don't have too much going on here, so that's fine, but let's start with slash lag, two G's, and you see all the commands here. Let's start with slash lag clear. There are no entities around, which is nice. Uh, however, let's say, let's grab this and just throw it and do that command again. It'll clear all the entities and it shows you how many there were. Now let's do slash lag area. And then you can do the slash lag area radius. So uh, the radius, let's, let's go with 10. And it removed one mob that was within that radius. If we go down here, we should be able to do it to this squid as well. Let's do this, and let's just make the area larger. And it removed 62 entities, cleaning up a lot of RAM right away for the server. You can do slash lag TPS. It shows you the TPS of your server. You can also do slash lag chunk to check for any chunks that are laggy. These are the largest chunks, and luckily none of them are laggy right now, so you're fine. Let's do the slash lag admin command. Lag admin list. And you can, here you can see all of the modules that, if you'd like, you can reload, stop, or start. So one more time, let's go over this slash 
lag clear. We'll remove any entities that are around you, such as this. If you go right up to one, it doesn't remove animals and mobs. So slash lag clear does not remove any mobs. However, if we do slash lag, do slash lag kill mobs, this will kill all the mobs from the world. Except for the ones that were listed in the do not kill section of the config file. Alright, so that's the basics of how to install and set up clear lag. Hope you guys enjoyed.